listening to the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast, where each week we talk about a free piece or two of technology that you can use in your classroom. I'm your host, Shanna Martin. I'm a middle school teacher, technology coach, and personalized learning coordinator for my district. And I'm her producer and husband, Fuzz. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's Fuzz with an F, not Fuzz with a B. Because people always <laughs> people always do that. Oh, his name is Buzz. No, it's Buzz. I just need to enunciate the F. Fuzz. Fuzz. As in fun. Just like Shanna as in banana. Yes. Mm-hmm. But people remember banana. They don't always remember Fuzz and Buzz. But that's good. That's true. Neither here nor there. It is episode 66. Yes. What are we talking about today? Today we have... It's a mini episode. It's a quick tool and a quick tip today. Before, um, before we get into that, I yes. just want to plug again. The new website, <laughs> smartandwi.com. Brand new ed tech directory. You can catch all the previous episodes. You can go search uh, for different free tech tools for your classroom in the ed tech directory. I feel you're like, and smash that subscribe button. But there isn't one. But that's okay. Just no, come but, visit. You know, we gotta got to get people to smash that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Share with others. Yes. Share that subscribe button with others. Um, Maybe I've been watching too much Zach George and the... The dog training. The dog training. Oh my gosh. If you feel like this helps you. How he could not only train a dog, by the way, sell a bark box. Wait, hold on. Were you just, (laughs) was that a slight (laughs) that I'm not training our dog? No, I just meant like he is training a dog, (laughs) selling his bark box, has cool tennis shoes. Yes, always. And is like super sunshiny about everything. Yes. And I um, try to train a dog for like three hours of the day. (laughs) <laughs> and don't sleep well and I'm grumpy. So that's right. <laughs> well, But I love her and she's super cute. Maybe we should get you a bunch of cool tennis shoes. Maybe we should get me a dog trainer. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just hire Zach. Hey, you wanna like come to our house? Yeah. So yeah. Um so uh, there's so many things going on right now and I know everyone's overwhelmed. I was like, Hey, I'm gonna throw a mini episode in just to kinda Maybe ease a little crazy. I don't know. There's so much going on with online learning and so many things happening and so many teachers balancing so many things. So here are my my tool and a tip. First thing is the tool is called RecordCast. Okay. So RecordCast.com. Hey, it's a dot com. And dot com. Unlike last, last week, week episode, yeah. we didn't have any dot coms. They're all <laughs> dot studio, dot org, dot net. Yes. Dot so, CA. RecordCast.net. I'm sorry, dot .com. You threw me <laughs> off. Okay, sorry. focus. So, recordcast.com. Go to recordcast, click start recording. Cool. It comes up. You're, it literally is this simple. You have, you want to just do your microphone, system audio, or no audio. So, you can just record your screen with no audio if you don't want it. Or just click the microphone. Cool. I just click, and it'll check to default. So, check your default microphone. It's there. Cool. Okay. You click start recording. You can choose your entire screen, your application window, or Chrome tab. Uh, I'm going to pick Chrome tab. Cool. Picked it. Click share. Literally, it's recording my screen. It's recording my screen. Look, it's recording my screen. No one can see it right now. It's recording my screen. I hit stop. And then I go to the record cast screen, and it says, look, here's your screen. Do you want it to re-record it, or do you want to download it? And that's it whole thing your screen has been recorded with audio boom boom so if you want kids to screencast and you don't want to sign up you know because something like between screencastify and loom and yeah like even google meet if you're recording like all these things you're recording all the time you gotta sign up have an account blah 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 Mm -hmm. literally record cast will record your stuff download it right to your computer and you have a screencast done that quickly which is awesome then so like I to me this is so simple especially if you've got like either quick screencasting that you want kids to do to show their work mm-hmm. to like this is how explain their thinking really quickly if you want to practice read alouds with littles so if you put a book in front of them and have them record their you know record their screen and read you can have the kids share what they're working on and explain it all um which is awesome third fourth fifth grade on up could use this very easily and again they don't have to have an account or anything to just use it which is cool but then also if you hit edit you know what comes up the editor is flex clip what which is a tool that we had talked about last season 
Um, and Flex Clip is like the editing tool that goes with it. So they work together, which nice. is pretty sweet. So you can add some text over it and do some. Yeah, you can drop the video into your Flex Clip account, which is kind of nice. Awesome. So, but yeah, so Recordcast, super fast, easy way to screen record. Um, yeah, easy to use, no accounts necessary. You can sign up for free and then have it like and have your own account, and you can definitely do that to have your stuff. Um, but if you just want to download a quick video, you can also do that too, which is pretty cool. So, boom, fancy mini tool of the day, Recordcast. Check it out. Check it out. The other than my tip that I wanted to talk about was I asked you this, and I guess i it's not common knowledge so i'm sharing out information that some people know and some people don't know um i realized we were doing lots of screencasting with my elementary staff and they don't have chromebooks necessarily they only have ipads Mm -hmm. and i was like huh well you can screen record on an ipad and it's already built in so if you didn't know this already on your iphone or your ipad you just go to settings on your iphone or ipad Mm -hmm. Go to the control center and then customize controls and you can flip through there and you find the little green plus button and add screen recording. And then once you have that button, like I want to say engaged, but once it's it's added to your control center, added to your control center, um, depending on if, which phone or iPad you have, you swipe up or swipe down mm-hmm. um, and you press on the little screen record button, you push on it. A little harder you get the microphone and you can choose to have a microphone if you want to um and then you're able to record your screen yeah and it saves into your photos area Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can quick screen record from your ipads or your iphone so if you didn't know that already if you got ipads in the classroom with your students and you want them to screen record again reading or their work and share their thinking um also if kids are at home Mm -hmm. doing online learning and if they have ipads you can quick share your thinking without a bunch of apps and things like that too and it's also really helpful if you ever if you have students on ipads and you need to uh show them how to do something from afar so like troubleshoot something Mm -hmm. if they're not finding something on their Mm -hmm. on their ipad you can show them like here just uh swipe here click here open this up and you can just walk them through it without having or or even the whole class to give them instructions or parents if you're trying oh, to yeah. support parents at home mm-hmm. um because i know a lot of our parents if our kids have school issued like ipads they might yeah. be different from at home so you can show parents how to do stuff too there you go. so yeah just quick tip that that would be really helpful if you have ipads or i mean if you have your iphone you it took me way too long it. With owning my iPhone, and I'm pretty techie, mm-hmm. <laughs> took me way too long to realize that that was there. Uh, and now, um, now I, I that I know it, I use it frequently. Frequently. Nice. There's also if you have a, uh, I'll give you another little tip for free. Bonus tip. Uh, bonus tip. If you have a Mac computer, so mm-hmm. not all of you have Macs, but if you do have a Mac, if you open up QuickTime, mm-hmm. you can screen record in QuickTime. And it will save it to your computer right away. Cool. Um, and that's just part of the operating system. So, nice. Look at that. Um, Look at so all these screen go. recordings we can do. Another, another little tip and trick. Yay. Awesome. So smash that subscribe again. <laughs> Though, you know, if you are on your commute, uh, you are heading back into the classroom, highly recommend going to, sp- if you're uh, listening somewhere, you can go to Spotify. Or uh, if you are on your iPhone, you can... Uh, subscribe at Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. Google Podcasts. I actually would like to point out to you really quickly as you're like selling the website here. Yeah. Um, I have had, I've ended up sharing Smart and WI with a lot of parents because mm-hmm. their kids are learning online and they want to be able to support them online with extra like resources and stuff like that. So I've had a lot of parents starting like at the end of last school year through summer be like, oh my gosh, I use your website for additional help with my kid or because there's other activities on there that they can do um, and everything's education based that I've had a lot of parents that just start using it as a tool as well so share it away great idea Shanna hooray episode mini episode 66 I appreciate all of you thanks for tuning in <laughs> this has been the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast
If you ever have any questions, you can find me on Twitter at SmartNWI. And if you want to get more information on the links to the technology discussed in this episode, you can visit SmartNWI.com or Facebook or Twitter. New episodes each week. Thanks for listening. Go educate and innovate. The ideas and opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the author, Shanna Martin, and not of her employer. Same goes for the Smart and WI website. Prior to using any of the technologies discussed in this podcast, please consult with your employer regulations. This podcast offers no guarantee that these tools will work for you as described, but we hope they do. Mm-hmm.